Happy fall, everybody. I am so excited to clean with you today. The kids are back in school. The air is cool, crisp, and fresh. And I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of cleaning to do around here. And as an extra bonus, I'm going to be making up some DIY fall scents for all purpose cleaner. So I'm going to be making an imitation of the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day apple cider scent and the mum scent. You guys aren't gonna believe how easy these are and it's gonna save you so much money. It's gonna cost about 50 cents for a full bottle of cleaner versus $5.99 that you would pay in the store. So grab your cleaning supplies and let's go. There is truly something special about fall, isn't there? I mean, it's like no other season. It's especially beautiful in the area of Canada where I live because we have so many maple trees and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. And I just love making my home smell like fall. My name is Jen and to those of you who are regular watchers or if this is your first time, welcome to all of you. I'm so excited that you're here with me today. I just really wanted to encourage you all as you're watching today, if you can, to just actually get up on your feet and get something done around your house while you watch. There's so much craziness and negativity happening around the world right now. And I think for me personally, and probably for all of us, something that really helps our mental health is to just get up, get our heart rate up, get something productive done to get our minds off of what's going on. So if you are going to be cleaning with me or folding laundry, doing some cooking as you're watching, pop the like button below so that I know we're in this together. I'm starting by tackling the dining room. It needs a good sweep. You can see all the crumbs on the floor. This is my fiddlehead fig that was 18 inches tall just 10 months ago and it's nearly hitting the ceiling over six feet. You want a good companion plant that's easy to take care of. This one's your girl. And just like you guys, I am watching and listening to YouTube while I'm cleaning today. This is Natalie Bennett. I really like listening to her and seeing the things she does. So I'm going to be following one of her fall videos while I do my fall cleaning today. Do you guys have a cleaning schedule or routine in your home? We actually take turns that each member of the family takes a turn sweeping the house each evening, just the kitchen, dining room area, so that everybody gets a turn and it's not all on one person. And today, it's my day. I've never felt like this. What are you doing to me? My kick plate for our central vac is one of my favorite things that we can just sweep directly into it. Oh, I love my central vac. I know a lot of people like their Dyson vacuums or robo vacuums, but I love central vac in our home. So to scrub the chairs and table, I'm just using some simple cloths. People ask me what kind of cleaning cloths I use. These are just from the dollar store, very cheap. I like white because I can hang them on the line and bleach them out and see that they're clean. And I'm just using hot soapy water to scrub down the table and chairs. Now, is this my first choice for style for dining tables? Definitely not. We bought this for a hundred bucks on Kijiji when we found out we were going to be adopting three more children and we just needed a big table. But you can see there's a lot of ornate details that are kind of neat, but also really hard to clean. Someday maybe I'll get just a simple harvest table, but the reason I like this one is that it expands so huge, has so many leaves. I can fit like 20 people at this table. And of course, our chairs get dirty. So this is me giving you a friendly reminder to not forget to scrub down your dining chairs routinely. And this is why our home will never have fabric covered dining chairs. This is so much easier to wipe down from kids making a mess.
Don't forget the underside of the chairs as well. They get dusty and dirty. And there are two pedestals like this under the table that like, holy cow, they are super ornate. <laughs> the kids love to rest their feet on them, but yeah, it's a lot to clean. Never felt like All right, so next I'm moving on to wiping down some of the furniture in the dining room that I can just use like an all-purpose cleaner for. And I'm gonna show you in just a minute my recipe for a homemade apple cider vinegar cleaner that smells so delicious, just like fall. And you'll see in a minute here, it does an incredible job of cleaning. First to clean is our antique buffet and hutch. And I like using this cleaner on it because I know, I mean, this is antique, very precious wood. And so I wouldn't wanna use anything on it that would damage the finish or damage the wood. So I really like this cleaner because I know it's gonna be safe on it. Oh, some women go gaga over really nice shoes or fashion. For me, it is like plants or old rustic furniture. This buffet and hutch is ancient, but look at the carving details in here. It has sentimental value being passed down through the generations in our family, and I just love it. Can you use this all-purpose cleaner on glass? Absolutely. It's a myth that you need Windex or special glass cleaner to clean glass, you guys. Try it out with an all-purpose and you might be surprised. One less cleaning product you have to have in your cupboard. Don't you guys like how old aged glass kind of looks like it's melting a bit? <laughs> Gravity has taken its toll. I just love the look of aged glass and that is something you cannot mimic. You just have to let time do its job. I lose my breath. We have a lot of special dishes in here, but among my favorite is an olive dish I bought for my husband one year for Christmas. I hate olives. He loves them, so this is my little loving gift to him so that whenever we have a Christmas or Thanksgiving here, there is always going to be the olive dish on the table that says, olives matter and all of me loves all of you. You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you. So here we go guys with our apple cider cleaner. It's super easy. So the ingredients you're going to need for this cleaner is apple cider vinegar, as well as some essential oils. I have here sweet orange and cinnamon. If you don't have sweet orange, another citrus would be just fine. So you're going to take one cup of the apple cider vinegar Make sure it's apple cider, not just plain cider or plain vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And then one cup of water. To that, you're gonna take your sweet orange essential oil or citrus oil and add about 10 drops. I'll link where I get my essential oils below for you guys if you want them from Amazon. I really like this brand. And then just one drop of cinnamon. You only want one drop because sometimes cinnamon can irritate the skin, so you just don't want much. Give it a good whisk. And then this is about the exact amount that will fit in a cleaning bottle. So I like to reuse a Mrs. Meyers Clean Day cleaning bottle because then it looks nicer, but you can use any spray bottle, obviously. And there we go. Did you guys see my summer clean with me video? There I give some more recipes for lemon cleaner and lavender cleaner and I did a really deep clean of my kitchen and bedrooms. So if you wanted to watch that, I'll link it above and below. And I will be doing more clean with me videos this winter and spring with some of the Mrs. Meyers winter and spring scents. And uh, you wanna make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that and click the bell notification as well. 
All right, we're going on to my kind of office slash music room. As you can see, the kids have left stuff all over the place. They're at school today, otherwise I would be yelling at them to come put this stuff away. And the piano book's all over the piano. I don't love that, but I guess it means that my daughter is practicing her piano, which is a good thing. This piano was one handed down from me from my parents. It was the piano I learned on and I love it so much, but I've been toying with the idea of changing the finish. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking to do like a darker gel stain. I don't really want to paint it. My mom would probably kill me if I painted it because of the nice wood finish, but let me know what color you guys think I should do the piano in. The letter in my wallet, I'll keep it too. This old church pew, as well as you can see through the window there, my porch swing. These are probably my two favorite places to sit in the house. Just calm, peaceful spot to sit and read, relax and think. My husband also loves to sit on this church pew when he practices his guitar. And this is your reminder to clean down your office, especially your keyboard. They say that your keyboard actually has more germs on it than a toilet or a kitchen sink. So clean it up, guys. Oh, that looks better and I wish I had smell -o vision so you could smell what it's like. All right, I'm gonna switch a load of laundry in between cleaning here. And I was pleasantly surprised. I came upstairs to put a load in the wash and I discovered that my 13-year-old daughter had collected a load of darks and put them in the washing machine this morning and started it up without me even asking her. So guys, teenagers, sometimes they give you attitude and are um, hard to deal with. And sometimes they do the sweetest things like start a load of laundry for you without you asking. I have a stacker washer and dryer, absolutely love them because they save space. What about you guys? I find that the most important part um, for a front loader is to always leave your washer door open so they don't get mildewy or anything between loads. So here you can see I'm leaving it wide open. We've never had a speck of mold or mildew in our front load washer before. Guys, next I'm going to clean a room in the house that's one of my favorites in terms of rooms I have decorated. And I don't think I've shown it to any of you before on YouTube. It's actually our basement bathroom. I got a little creative with it, maybe things I normally wouldn't do in the main level of the house, kind of a Moroccan theme. And every time I come in here, either to clean or use the washroom, it just makes me so happy. And since I am cleaning basically everything except the inside of the toilet with my mum cleaner, I wanted to take a little break right now to show you guys how it's done. This one takes a little more time, but it is well worth it. Okay, so I have here white vinegar and a mason jar. I'm just going to fill the mason jar up about two thirds full with white vinegar. If you don't have a mason jar, this is a four cup mason jar, just use another container that would hold four cups, but make sure it's glass. Then you're gonna take an orange and take all of the peelings off the outside. I lose my breath I put the orange peels right into the jar with the white vinegar. You stole my heart. And then we're gonna add one single cinnamon stick. 
Make sure your container is sealed tight. Give it a bit of a shake just to mix things up a bit. And then you're gonna store it in a cool, dark place for one week. So I'm storing it in our pantry in our cold cellar downstairs, but you could just put it in a cupboard. After one week, can you see the color difference, you guys? So now you have cinnamon and orange peel infused vinegar. Isn't that awesome? The scent is really unique. Then you're gonna take a floral essential oil. I'm using lavender because it's what I had on hand, but if you have like geranium or something like that, that would be good too. So 10 drops of a floral oil, and then give that a good mix. Pour it into your container, and you can see this is gonna fill it right up. I even actually had a bit left over. And now you've got a beautiful fall mum scent. All right, so I'm going at this downstairs bathroom. I don't always use natural cleaners and this week is one of those times. The toilet is so gross and we definitely clean our toilets at least once a week because with this many kids, six kids, it gets yucky in the bathroom. So really a little elbow grease and bleach is what you need. And then Amy Darley here on YouTube, I watch her videos and she had mentioned one time when you clean your toilets, use a bit of toilet paper first to get off all of the dust and hairs and things that are just stuck to the outside. That way when you clean it, you're not going to be having that stuff smear all over the place. And then spray it down with your all-purpose cleaner. Don't forget when you clean your toilets to do those corners and edges at the very bottom. Those get gross. Next, I'm gonna go around and do my baseboards. Guys, baseboards get forgotten, especially at my house. And um, look how gross they were and how clean they are after a simple scrubbing. So I really need to like put this on the list more often to get the baseboards done. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you. I love the floor in this bathroom. It's just a vinyl floor because we're in a basement. I wanted it to make sure it was friendly if we ever got a flood down here. And I just love the design. We have in-floor heating, so it's a nice warm floor on your toes. And then a money saver here. I love antique doors, but they can be $500 or more to buy like a fully finished antique door. So I actually bought this for $50 at our local Habitat for Humanity Restore that I'd been taking out of an old house. It was covered in 10 layers of paint. So my husband stripped the paint off and sanded it. And then I refinished it with a new stain and varathane. And oh, I just love how it turned out. This tile is my favorite. It is a porcelain tile and my husband was a good sport when I brought this home instead of the subway tile that I had thought we were gonna do in this bathroom. I just fell in love with this. It was just from Home Depot and um, he really had only tiled once in his life, our kitchen upstairs, the subway tiles, and he did like an outstanding job. It looks professionally done. And then we made the vanity for this out of an antique dresser I found at a local antique store. And I just love how it looks. It was way cheaper than buying a vanity brand new. And what my husband did was he cut the drawers out so that they could fit around the piping for our sink and our faucets. And then I could still put our extra towels and extra toilet paper in there as storage, but um, just kind of retrofit it, I guess, to fit around the pipes. And then the vessel sink I got on Wayfair and absolutely love it. I got the faucets on Wayfair as well. And yeah, just love how it turned out. These lights, I wanted to show you what they look like off because the light was giving a glare. I also got these at the Habitat for Humanity Restore store for $5 each. And my husband thought they looked like old granny lights, which they are but you can see I just used an extender. Like normally these would be hanging in a hallway. In the 1950s they were popular and I got an extender so they would stick out and I could use them as vanity lighting instead. Oh, here's the cloth after doing the tile wall. You can tell how dirty it was. Gross. 
And that's a wrap. Oh, it feels so good to get all that cleaning done, but it especially feels good to have spent time with all of you today. If you're not ready to be done cleaning today, definitely pop one of these videos to the side. I can't wait to see you there. Have an extraordinary fall, everybody. For the least, this is Jen. Don't let them tell you what you